Obviously, Daniela here. I'm back with finally another recent rotation. It's been a while. Um, been rather busy, but well, everybody's always saying they're rather busy. That's the way life goes. Um, sometimes everything comes in between, and you don't have time for funny things. So thank you for all the comments and everything on the Metal Labor series. Um, really appreciated it and uh, it was great just um, to introduce another great label and it's fun and I hope I can do this again soon. Uh, just let the winners know um, all of your packages are out there and I hope they will arrive soon but they have to travel quite a bit so um, I just hope uh, they will arrive safely. I mean Alex you know Dawn has a long way. Yeah, this might be one of my most diverse um, episodes, I think, because uh, there are a lot of genres. We have everything from, of course, free jazz, a bit of psych and blues, um, indie rock, um, a soundtrack, we have rap, we have Thai funk, we have jazz funk, and other stuff. Uh, so, just stay tuned. Um, the first one is one uh, I just got recently and it was on my want list for quite a while so I'm really happy to finally have it and it's Maurice McIntyre, uh, Humility in the Light of the Creator, a Delmark release from 1969. Yeah, with some scribbling on the back but I got this for dirt cheap so I just had to get it because usually it gets really pricey and I was once trying to buy it for twice of the price which was also a really good price, but uh, the seller just said, oh, I don't have it anymore on the Skirks and so yeah. Um, I love the cover, it's just absolutely amazing. You know, I love Maurice McIntyre and this is just a wonderfully weird free jazz, spiritual jazz album. Spiritual, well, some a bit of. Um, Maurice McIntyre is playing Tina Sex, clarinet, bell, tambourine, bicorn. Malachi Favors is playing bass. Um, Jaka Uba is playing bass. Uh, Thurman Baker is playing drums. Aja Ramu is playing drums. George Heinz uh, is doing some vocals on Sade. Leo Smith is on trumpet and flugelhorn. Uh, John Stapplefield is on soprano sax. And Claudine Myers on piano. I mean, what a great lineup. I adore this record. Um, the first side um, with back homes with backwards, which is a spell wrong here and on the labels, uh, which is quite funny because it should be well, you can see here it's spelled wrong. What's uh, wonderfully weird about it is uh, the vocals of George Hines, which I like to refer to as Medicine Man chant because, well, for me, they sound like George Hines is just dancing around a fire. Enchanting? Well, something like that, but it's always make my, it always makes my day. I absolutely love it and it's, I don't know, it always brings a smile to my face. And um, yeah, I will need to drop it so you can hear it in case you don't know. Humility in the light of the creator is a really soulful Tino sex uh, piece, um, which is quite heartfelt. And Sad Bees, uh, the sweet uh, ensemble fade, which is also amazing as well. It uh, has some interesting drumming and um, yeah, it's great free. Um, my copy is crackling a bit, but uh, I don't mind. I'm just happy to have it in the collection because I've never seen it in a while.
amazing guests from Mashurf. We went to a Kurangbin concert uh, recently, a few uh, weeks back, and um, Kurangbin, the Texas-based Thai funk band, um, it's hard to describe their stuff, uh, released another album at the end of January, uh, Con Todo El Mundo. Um, Rambing is consisting out of Molly, Max Brewer and Donna Johnson from Texas and they make great layback funk um, influenced by the 60s Thai funk. Uh, this one has some also more Middle Eastern and Iranian influences which I really dig and uh, I guess Maria Tamia will be one of my most played songs uh, this year and it's another great album released on Nighttime Stories um, on this off-white vinyl. And yeah, you have heard uh, me talking about Kurang Bing uh, before. I saw them live the first time in 2015 as support act of Fava Domesti. Uh, this time it was quite hard to uh, get uh, to see them because almost all concerts were instantly sold out and so we had to travel like uh, 600 kilometers to see them on a Monday evening but uh, it was totally worth it. Um, it was packed, it was also absolutely sold out in Hamburg and I will include some concert excerpts uh, after the needle drops of the new album which I also love. shown uh, quite a lot in the recent times but I think it's always present in the WC 
It's Robert Wyatt, uh, Ruth the Stranger and Richard, released in 1975, uh, Over Virgin. This is the German press. And yeah, you also know I love Robert Wyatt. Um, Ruth is indeed stranger than Richard because Ruth is side A, Richard is side B, and Ruth is, I would say, more unusual and has some really interesting and more joyful patterns, which I enjoy, but Richard is my preferred side because it reminds me a lot of the rock bottom stuff and um, I absolutely adore my favorite track on here is uh, five black notes and one white note. Um, where he's joined by Laurie Allen on drums, Brian Eno on guitar and synthesizer, uh, Nisa Matt Khan on Tina Sax, Bill McCormick on bass guitar, Gary Window on Tina Sax and Alto Sax, and Robert Wyatt is, is doing the imitation electric piano. Uh, other people of the cast here would be uh, Fred Fripp on piano, uh, Bill McCormick and Gary Window are like the main parts uh, of this, and yeah. It's just a great album and wonderfully weird as well. showing briefly in my Meet the Label um, episode and that's uh, Jazz Beat Jettis from the Estrada Orchestra um, as you can see here with Misha Panfilov, Ilya Gusarov on flute alto sax, Sasha Petrov on tina sax and percussion, Volodya Brodsky on electric piano, organ and synthesizer, Misha on bass, guitar, percussion and tape effects and Martis cut uh, cut Kostild on drums and percussion. This was released in 2017 over Stereo Funk um, France and has a limited range of 500 copies and it's just incredible jazz funk. Damn, this is so so funky, it's amazing. Um, the first track is so funky envelope and the next track Night City gets a little bit more dark and haunting and kind of sofa vibe which I also enjoy. And the rest is also just great jazz funk. So, um, especially Paul X Junkie and L, if you don't know this, I'm pretty sure you will absolutely dig this. And I will include some needle drops so you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs>
psychedelic blue rock time a smooth ball release 1969 over liberty this is the um, second album of the la based band time which is like trust in men everywhere okay the guitarist larry barham later played in steppenwolf and has a great cover it's a bit beaten and yeah, it's crackling like hell, but let's face it, not every copy can sound amazing, so yeah. I would say it's a mixture of psychedelic rock with blues rock. It's sometimes my blues rock, then psych. Um, favorite track on here is um, See Me As I Am, which is absolutely great. And yeah, just a great album. from Japan. Um, Akira Sakata Chika Murachi featuring Masaki Kupo Sato. Akira Sakata Chika Murachi featuring uh, Masahiko Sato Proton Pump. Uh, I came to notice this through Alex Motorik 247's video and briefly sampled it and uh, yeah I liked it a lot and um, this is great straight in your face free jazz i would say um, which i can highly recommend uh, released in february of this year um, on family wine lot <laughs> because uh, this album is just so well known. I don't need to need it, Robert. 
but uh, because some people just got the impression on my Wild Attack video that I hate the 80s, I don't hate the 80s, um, it's just my, one of my less uh, preferred decades of music, but um, one record that has been spinning a lot in recent times, for example, is this one. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of great music released in the 80s, and this one is just a killer album. Which has been playing a lot and, and I have an earworm of You Can Call Me L for like 4 weeks now, <laughs> so yeah, great album. And the next one, some indie rock from Spain, uh, My Expansive Awareness Going Nowhere, released in 2017 on the Analog Love Records and I was first drawn to it by the insane cover art, which is just amazing. And uh, after just sampling it, I really liked it. It's, um, I would say, some indie rock pop uh, with some psychedelic tinges, just a little bit. And um, they are singing in English. Uh, they have a female and a male singer. And um, favorite track is We All Die. And yeah, just a fun album to listen to. that much in my series usually but um, rap has been the first music I fell in love with and if there is a good rap album which is released I'm still appreciating it. So I was really happy when I heard that a new Evidence album was released and Rather or Not was released in January uh, over Rhyme Sayers and Evidence is one of my favorite rappers. He was part of the group uh, The Light Peoples, uh, which is basically one of the first ba uh, groups I ever listened to and uh, absolutely fell in love with. And yeah, this is his new album. It's the third, fourth solo album. If you count the Layover EP, which is always confusing because it's set, it's an EP, but it's a full length album. This is a great free pen vinyl with the uh, included booklet, which is just great as well. And the vinyl comes in this gorgeous color, which just fits perfectly into the concept. And yeah, you know I'm not a fan of color vinyl, but uh, I like it when there's a nice concept behind it. This is just another great release by him. Um, I think it's one of his more personal albums because he's channeling topics like his wife getting breast cancer and the birth of his son and uh, all the trials and tribulations life has in store for you and yeah. It's not as happy-go-lucky or I think the 
tone is more subdued in comparison to from Cats and Dogs, the previous release, but um, it's still uh, enjoyable nevertheless. Um, great rhymes, great beats, and yeah, the, the whole package is just amazing. And if you like rap, I can just highly recommend it. Who's on first? It's my dog, it's his tail, it's the chase, it's the search, it's the ignorance that causes all the bliss in my surroundings. Cause dealing with realities like drawing out your boundaries. And I refuse to be referred as less than a creative. So catch me when I'm live in town as I've been demonstrating. So that I can find my greatness in the waking of my absence. And absolutely kill it when they dealing out these bad hands. A player plays what a player's dealt. Who carries baggage like conveyor belts and never fucking saves as well. Got some money, I'ma blow it all today. They say Michael, don't throw it all away. Inside of my mind, they will try to drive me insane. But everything's fine if I try. She'll remain like powder cocaine. I'll be fine like powder cocaine, and that's a hell of a drug, and that's a hell of a saying. They need elephant trunks to get it off of the plate. I want to better myself. They want to dwell in the pain. I want to better my health. No umbrella for rain. This is not your thing. This is ours. Gangsters got this thing about flowers. Rappers got this thing about power. Bitter and sour. Gossip at the top of every hour. Walking in the rain off the gym beam. Dreams broken on the boulevard. My lady losing her hair. I go to sit with her to sit in that uncomfortable chair. Got it. Holding her hand right beside me. They bring the chemo out and hook it to the ivy. The doctor like a deal away, pumping them drugs. Hard to watch shit like this. I give a fuck if you thug. And the last one for today is a soundtrack, but not a movie soundtrack, but a game soundtrack, which I think is really interesting. And I received this as a present for my birthday from friends. And uh, this is the Horizon Zero Dawn soundtrack set. Um, it's a 4 LP set, which is just massive, as you can see. Released uh, this year by Sony Entertainment. And comes with this four sleeves which are all different colored and the four one are composed by uh, different um, musicians I think and it has a great range from a more classical score music to more ambient and tranquil parts and to more really electronic and straightforward um, pieces which are pretty aggressive uh, because it fits to the game and yeah it's hard to needle drop it because it has such a great variety but I try to do it and yeah I absolutely love to hear such soundtracks while I'm reading because it just think uh, because I think it's just great it's a great atmosphere and yeah if you like uh, soundtracks uh, I can really recommend this.
Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the variety. And yeah, what do you think about the records? Uh, leave me something in the comments. And see you soon. Bye.